Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're filming part two of the I Saw It First haul. I am so excited to show you some of the new things. I feel like this section is gonna be better than the first section. I know that's kind of like bad to say, but I do. I just feel like this section is gonna be better. I feel like there are some nicer things in this section. I mean, there were some nice things in the other section and there's some not so nice things in this section, but we'll see. Like, it's kind of a similar mix of things, like a like jumpsuit, some like bodysuits, some blazers, that kind of thing. And I'm really excited to get into it and show you. This is like super affordable clothing. There's always offers on on this website. So I would definitely say like, wait until an offer comes up that you're like into. But anyway, um, if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you leave. And if you press that notification bell, you'll be notified every time I upload. I'm also gonna try and link the original part one down below. So if you've missed that, then do check that out before watching this one. So the first item we have is something quite similar from part one. This is a black slinky bodysuit. We had this in blush last time. It wasn't blush, it was nude. But this is what it looks like. It's super cute and it looked like so nice on the model. Again, I had a similar problem with the fit. Like my boobs were like popping out the top. It was like, an absolute mess like it was really pretty on my shape and if you have a shorter torso than me then I think like these are super good like super affordable it's retails for 20 pounds so you're gonna get it for 10 because it's normally like 50% off or something like that so I would definitely say give it a shot maybe try and pick it up if you have like that torso length that will work I don't so I think that this is gonna be a return for me but otherwise I think it was so nice, like it feels so nice, like there's a couple of layers that you can see so it's not going to be too see-through, you know, like when it stretches. Um, it doesn't have like a right lot of stretching so be sure to like get your size. I'm normally like a 10 to 12 with bodysuits, I tend to order a 10 because it's like my like bottom half that tends to be the 12, you know. Um, but I would definitely say give this a go if you have the torso length for it. So the next item we have is this black jersey bodycon like bodysuit. So it's quite long. It's just like tight at the top and like tight on the legs. I quite liked how it looked on. To me, again, it's something I would wear light in the cold under a skirt. So it's like you've got leggings on. But the only problem I see with that would be the fact that you'd have to try and take this entire bodysuit down to go to the toilet. But otherwise, I thought it was okay. I'm just not 100% what I would wear it for. Like, maybe for, like, comfort, like, around the house. You know how you have, like, your comfies? Like, that might kind of be what I'd wear it for. It retails for £18, so it's not, like, an unreasonably priced item, considering, really, you're going to be paying, like, £9 for it. But honestly, like, I'm not sure on this one, so I think this is going to be a return for me as well. So this one is a plunge blazer. It's a black belted plunge blazer. It has this cute little belt with like these buckle details that you can kind of see here. Like it's very cute on and like you'll see it looks like a blazer. It fits really nicely around the waist. Like I think it looks really cute on. However, like I look at it and on the actual website it says that it's a dress but you can see when I try it on it, it's not like a dress. Do you know what I'm saying? Like the length isn't right, the fit isn't right for a dress, but I really like it as the blazer itself. It is 55 pounds normally, but obviously it's like half off. So it's 27 pounds 50, which I think is a much more reasonable price for it. And I do really like it. So there's a solid chance I'm keeping this one. There's also another black blazer that we're gonna go into in like a minute after the next item I'm going to show you because it's also similar to this that I don't know whether I like more so I'm going to have a, like a think through and decide out of so this next item is a chocolate belted blazer dress it's really cute it has like the same detail on the belt which I really like you'll see it on I thought it was a bit oversized but now thinking about it that's because it's a dress and I hadn't even noticed until I like re-went through my order. This one retails for £60. I think the problem I had with it was like the sleeves you just saw like they are like big. They are like like those sleeves are my problem with it. Otherwise I think it looks really cute and I might I might have like kept it. I think those sleeves put me off hugely. Do you know what I'm saying? I think they're a bit too flappy. And I know that if I went out with it, I would probably dip it in food. And that is bad that I would say that, but it's true. Like, I'm always going to be honest with you guys. It's something that would just get dipped in stuff. And that's the last thing you want. So this next item is the black double-breasted blazer. 
This retails for £35 and this is pretty cute because it's like super smooth material. It was almost like the other blazers except it's got like buttons and it's got like a bit longer. It has this tie around the middle which I really like. You can see in the clip like it fits me really well. I think it looks really flattering around like the upper chest area. It's just much cuter to me than a lot of the other blazers. It's a little less formal and like I feel like the only problem with the other blazer, the other black blazer that I liked, is the like the chunkiness of the belt, which it doesn't have with this blazer, which I really like. So honestly, I don't know which one I'm going to keep. This one retails for £35, so I did pay, I think, £17.50 for it, so it's a bit cheaper. So I think that has to come into consideration somewhere. So I think I'm going to try both like on again before I do my return and just kind of see which one I'm going to keep because they are both super cute. I'm just not sure if one's a bit more like formal than the other because I kind of want a formal casual look going on. So the next items I have to show you are belts. So they're pretty similar, which is why I'm gonna show you together so you can kind of like see the difference. I will insert like clips of like wearing both of them. So this one is the double circle silver belt. It has like kind of a thick leather strap around the edge. I tried it on with like the full like bodycon black jumpsuit so you can kind of see how this compares. I have the gold one as well and the gold one is much thinner and it's got like smaller circles however this one retails for £15 and this one retails for £12 so there is a little bit of a difference. I honestly think I prefer the gold one like I feel like it's a bit more delicate and actually like what I would wear belts for is generally to pull stuff in around the waist for which I would generally prefer a smaller belt. I don't really have anything with like any like goldy kind of colour detail. I tend to wear like more silver as you can see but I'm getting into the gold a bit more and it's like a goldy copper like I can kind of get away with like copper as well I think with it. I I don't know they're, they're both really cute and you'll have seen both clips by now so I just like do comment down below and tell me like which one's your favourite. I think I'm going to keep the gold one though. Like it's £7.50 rather than £6. Oh shine a light. I did stab myself in the eye there. Um, it is £7.50 rather than the 6 so it's £1.50 more but I don't think £1.50 is like a big deal considering like I do like this one a bit more. I do feel like the quality of this one is there a little bit more like if you turn around there's like the indent here whereas like it's just the full solid metal around here so honestly I'm not sure I do think in the end I'll just keep the gold one though so this item I'm also a little bit on the fence about this is a back I cannot even speak today honestly this is the black polka dot plunge bodysuit so it's kind of got like this collar around the edge that you can see you can see this deep plunge and this is like and this is the black bit at the bottom that you can kind of like hook under. It's soft, has a little bit of stretch there, which I like. It is long sleeved and kind of has these cuffs that I'm assuming you fold back. You can see in the video that I fold these back. And then it has this little tie around here. Now, what I would have liked to see actually is a button on here to keep this cuff folded back. And I think that would make a huge amount of difference. I could then just like, I think the problem is as well, like, I don't know if it's too big. I don't know what the situation is, if it's too small. Like, I have to hold it together. Otherwise, I am like popping out of the front. Like, some of us like a plunge, do not get me wrong. But I do not like a plunge that is so far plunged that it gives the entire game away. Um, it is £30. So I think it's like pretty reasonable in price. The quality feels good and I think it looks pretty good on. The sleeves bother me a little bit. The fact that I just can't get that cuff to stay down. Like I don't know if I'm going to have to just like tie the things around it. Like I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it. We shall see. But I do think it is quite cute. So I also ordered some jeans to kind of see how the jeans are. These are the black super stretch high waisted skinny jeans. They have loads of stretch in them which I absolutely love and they kind of have this button thing like going at the top which I kind of like as well like these poppers but like the the rips the rips are the problem like I kind of wanted some ripped jeans I don't own a pair um but like there's rips and then there's like these kind of rips so there's one rip in one leg and three in another which which threw me off like right away and look at these rips they're like 
it's just like a cut it's not like any kind of tear like I don't know it just looks a bit weird it doesn't look right on to me I mean it fits really well don't get me wrong I think they are very flattering I just think that the tears are not like the tears are weird let's be real let's be like real the tears are weird and personally they're just not for me they retail for 35 pounds and honestly like they're just not what I would pay for them like I would rather just go to Topshop they don't feel like 35 pound quality do you know what I'm saying they don't feel like thick enough to be 35 pound quality they're not itchy or anything like that they're not bad quality but they're not the best quality ever like say half £17.50 yeah that's probably what they're worth um but honestly I think the tears just like the tears just do it me in like three on one leg like one or two on the other max like it's just they're not for me so my last item is this brown checked double breasted blazer like I think it is just so cute on like these buttons are lovely this interior is just like it's so nice and I absolutely love the belt as well like I think the bell and this like buckle is just so cute but you can see when I put it on it's too big and that makes me very sad so I will be ordering it in a smaller size because I think the two blazers that I will end up keeping are one of the black ones and this one. When I reorder like smaller sizes I tend to order them in a 10 and an 8 if it's say a 12 because you know what if it's free returns then I'll just return the inappropriate size I don't want to then have to order it again. But honestly, I really like the blazer and it was £55, so it is quite a lot of money to be honest. Like, normally, like £27.50, that's kind of what it is. It's the most expensive item that I would keep out of all of this, but I think that the quality is there. Like, especially with that blazer, I feel like the entire I saw it first haul, nearly all of it was really good quality. I had nearly no problems with quality. You can always get like 50% off to be honest so I wouldn't ever pay full price for anything on there. I think it's definitely worth the price they charge. Like I've really enjoyed most of the items so I am going to kind of have like a delve through and decide what I'm going to keep. Um, I'm definitely going to keep one of those black blazers. I'm going to reorder the um, blazer I've just shown you in a smaller size and from the last haul there were these trousers that I am going to order in a smaller size as well. Um, but I hope you guys have enjoyed these hauls like I absolutely love filming them like trying all these clothes shopping for these clothes like even though I know that there's going to be a lot of things that don't agree like I don't like I definitely feel like they're still worth it and they're still lots of fun especially when like it takes the work out of it for you guys a little bit because it's in your leisure time like you can watch and see how like the average person fits into these things and what they actually look like on the average person rather than on these models and these like posed photos um but i really hope you guys have enjoyed it and if you do then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you leave and if you press that notification bell you'll be notified every time i upload thank you for watching